Welcome brethren for visiting our channel known as Division of Labor today. We are at the altar of the God of Ofesharofancha, Okosharofancha, Omesharofancha, and Otisharofancha. He is the God who reveals the deep and secret things to his servant prophet Ebuka Obi in Zion Prayer Movement Outreach. Now, watch. Um, my name is Architect Obiagali Edozie Iofose. I'm from Adobe Associates Limited with my co colleague Oliaku Okafumbaubo. Okay. We are here to present our vision for Zion City at Opala. And uh, we have designed a wonderful thing uh, based on what we have. We have a big land that is bigger than Victoria Island. We are here to present what we have already given to the media to put on the screen, the proposed uh, city of Zion at Imo. It's a big city that is bigger than even Victoria Island and the Co Atlantic City, or Alero City. And we have done a bit of work to give you something that will enable you to enjoy a prayer ground in a wonderful auditorium that keeps it cool all the time so that you are, don't have to depend on air conditioning or not, uh, light. You will get natural light 24 hours and be able to enjoy a prayer ground the way it ought to be with all the greeneries and all the features of a prayer mountain, which is the theme of our presentation. Can we put it on the screen now? Okay, when you are showing us, they will be explaining to it one after the other. This is the, this is the auditorium. Watch your TV. This is the Crystal Palace, the Crystal Auditorium. Sister Tia Mike and all This is the Crystal Auditorium. How many videos did they give them? It's not only this one. No, the next one. The, the other one is uh, a zip. A zip drawing. The drawings. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, the city is going to have a lot of activities so that it can become sustainable by itself. Um, apart from the prayer city, which is the major thing that is taking us there. We want everybody there to also live as a city where you don't have to think about all the hustles that is happening all over the world. We have a city where we have, we have uh, agricultural, you know, can sustain, we have industries, we have, um, we have opportunity to have housing, plenty of housing for people to buy and live, you know, kicking. We have uh, churches that we have in the three places. We have prayer huts. We have, uh, uh, we have also a prayer mountain, which is on 12 floors that represent all the 12 tribes of um, Israel. And also in the, in the auditorium, we have 12 entrances so that you will not have to be pushing yourself to enter. And we are planning for at least a minimum of one to two million seated comfortably auditorium which is never seen anywhere the 
largest auditorium in Nigeria can only seat 250,000 people. But this one is going to seat one to two million people. It's, and it's going to be on a flat ground with our normal sand and our green place all intact. And there will be an opening which is closable, you know, um, slidable uh, openings are closed. When there is rain, we can close our auditorium and still feel as though we are outside. And when there is no rain and we want the sunshine to come directly to us, we have it. And the crystal covering is a material that keeps the environment warm. It is fire resistant, like, you know, compared to aluminum that you have in your present building. And it gives you all the all the all the coolness you have this open spaces and the walls of the auditorium is made of what you call hydrofoam bricks that allows the space to feel cool so you will not feel all the discomfort you are having presently in this present auditorium that's what we want to guarantee and then we have ample plots and you know um we have a total of 23,000 plots right here and we are um, using only 5,000 for the auditorium and the major roads that we are going to use to construct. The rest will be handled by people using 19,000 plots for hotels, for schools, for hospital, for university, for residential, for any activities that you want to see anywhere in Dubai is coming back to Nigeria, especially for some We have managed to divide this, um, this city into seven zones or seven suburbs, you want to call it. And the best um, is the spirit of godliness, which is the center where the auditorium will be. And all the other zones cloud round it. We will have a light train that takes people from the gate. We're going to have all our car park at the entrance of the property so that you can drop your car in the car park, enter the light train, and straight to the auditorium. We don't want to have any vehicles in the auditorium, so that you. <laughs> we also have prototype uh, residential houses, which the. Um, the Zion management we propose to those who want to purchase and use to build immediately. And we hope that by this month, we will move to, we will move to the site. Why? Because we want to make sure that the first thing we're going to do there is to create an earth road that gives us the seven zones. Then we will create a drainage channels around the property so that all the water that is sitting on the property right now will drain into our drainage and we will have a free uh, non uh, waterlogged place for now um you can see the properties the building apartment prototypes this will show you the yellow line will show you the train track that you know will take you straight to the zion under and you know everything will have escalators lifts um, all kinds of ramps to let you go into the space because it's just about four meters above so that you have an enjoyment inside your prayer ground without any and we maintain the green place you can see the altar we have um, the ways you know from all the entrances with that we, do, we never seem to have any rush and all of them we have um, security guards and security activities and also we're going to have uh, for the property itself we are going to have um, we're going to have sept you know, um, we're going to have road networks okay okay i just want to you know, give you the names of the suburbs and the zones the first one is the spirit of godliness which is where we are going to have the auditorium then you have the spirit of knowledge then you have the spirit of counsel, then you have the spirit of might zone, and you have the spirit of understanding, 
the spirit of uh, fear of God and the spirit of wisdom. In each of them, we have several plots and can you move this? In, in the spirit of knowledge, we have 2,480 plots, and the plot sizes is 15 by 30 meters per plot. In the spirit of uh, council, so we have 3,302 plots. In the spirit of might zone, we have 3,120 plots. In the spirit of understanding, we have 2,438 plots. In the spirit of godliness, which is where we are going to have our auditorium, we are going to have 4,290 plots. In the spirit of fear of God, we have 3,421 uh, 3, plots. And the spirit of wisdom, we have 2,853 plots, totaling 50, 23 plots, less the area for infrastructure. We are going to have electricity and solar so that we don't have to experience any uh, light problem. We are also going to have a water treatment plant and we are going to have a drainage system plant as we have also mentioned earlier. We have loads of shopping mall and land for people to buy for commercial prop, no, activities. We have for uh, open spaces, for gardens, for botanical gardens, and all the types of gardens you want. I will also have ample open spaces for parking allotted for you. We have the university. I, I did mention we have university at the end, and we have schools private schools and also schools that you can build on your own from each of your community but in the spirit of um, knowledge that's where we will have schools and the university yeah you can wrap up i promise you that if you give us this opportunity we will bring dubai back to one caller in Imo state thank you okay this one uh one group we want to have different team draw their own let's see the one that young people will choose and then we will kick off i told you that a time is coming when you will have your place you want to build hotel you want to build your house there uh, it's, it's fast approaching zechariah for verses 8 to 10. moreover the word of the lord came to me saying the hands of prophet abuka obi have laid the foundation of this temple, but his hands shall also finish it. Then you will know that the Lord of hosts has sent me to you. Habakkuk 2 verses 1 to 3. The just shall leave by faith. I will stand my watch. And set myself on the rampart. And watch to see what he will say to me. And what I will answer when I am corrected. Then the Lord answered me, and said. Write the vision and make it plain on tablets, that he may run who reads it. For the vision is yet for an appointed time. But at the end it will speak, and it will not lie. Though it tarries, wait for it. Because it will surely come. It will not tarry. Amen and Amen. Hallelujah! The channel known as Division of Labor today. We are at the altar of the God of Ophesharofantia. Ophesharofantia. Omeshara Fancha and Otisharofancha.